I'm Peter Broderick from Paradigm Consulting, and I do strategy consulting with independent filmmakers. The idea of filmmakers seize control is that more and more filmmakers are taking charge of their distribution. They're not relying on other people to do it for them or do it to them, as the case may be. Um, and they're splitting it up. They're saying, well, there's these, there's certain pieces I need partners to help me with. So television, home video in, in retail stores, maybe theatrical. And there's certain pieces I can do myself. So that's selling DVDs off a website, doing digital downloads, other things. And so instead of letting distribution happen to them, where they get some lousy offers and they choose the lesser of evil, they're actually coming up with a customized, proactive strategy. And they're trying to find partners that can help them execute the strategy they've designed around their movie and their audiences. The opportunities have never been greater for independent filmmakers, you know, whatever, you know, color, ethnic background, you know, sexual identity, you know, nobody can stop you from making a movie. So you can do that in the UK, you can do that in the US, you can do that in Africa. So then the question is about distribution and whether there are going to be audiences that are going to be interested in your work and where they, where they are. In the case of the distribution online, uh, I think where, where you live is, is really not so important if you can have teammates and colleagues who you can work with you know, to make films or make television or whatever you're making. So if you have a critical mass of filmmakers in London that, that's a community and that's mutually supportive, then that's great. If, they're, if you feel real isolated because there just aren't enough other folks that are interested in you know, working the way you're working, then I think you have to really find that community. One mistake that filmmakers make is they treat the internet as national. I mean, they know it's, they know it's the World Wide Web, but it's, they think of it in the UK or in the US. And I'm like, no, it's not national. National's part of it, but the world is, you know, the world is there for you. So you have to figure out how to do outreach and how to connect with other websites and organizations and newsletters. But they, those are cross-border. They're not. It's not limited by by traditional borders anymore. And I think the more people can think that way, then it's going to be a challenge to them to figure out, okay, well, how do we let folks know in Nigeria? Or how do we let folks know in, you know, Spain about our movie, even though we're located in, you know, somewhere entirely different? Well, to me, an independent filmmaker is independent. So even in the past when they've used the term, they've really been dependent filmmakers because they've been dependent on other people's money, dependent on other people's distribution networks. So I, I want to see a world where people can be genuinely independent, have the resources, so they have a digital camera, they have software on their computer, they can make the movie, and then they're independent in that they can also do distribution themselves. Not entirely, not alone, not that they won't partner with people to do pieces of it, but so that's to me independence. So the idea of working your way up in an established corporation, which may be, you know, headed to extinction anyways because how things are changing, that, that's, I mean, that's not interesting to me because I think that's not where the future is. So I think that, I'm hoping the future is going to be colorblind and, and you know, whatever the equivalent would be in terms of sexual identity. Um, and that people will respond to movies that move them and movies that matter to them and, and, the, and the passion that you know, filmmakers put into those movies. A couple years ago, a client of mine was gonna go to the Berlin Film Festival. And I, was, I did a consultation with him. And I said, okay, here's, here's what you need to do. From the minute you get off the plane, you have to start networking. And you're gonna network nonstop until the minute you get on the plane to leave Berlin. And then I said, no, no, that's wrong. From the minute you get on the plane to fly to Berlin, you're gonna start networking, till the minute you get off the plane flying back from Berlin. And so I think meeting more people, talking to more people, just being open, you never know, you know, are these people that are gonna have some helpful information? Are there people that are gonna know about resources that might be helpful? Are there people that you might wanna team up with to make a movie? You just never know. So, and, and there is no place in terms of networking in film that is, is like can. I call it meta networking because you can just stand on a street corner and all these people will go by, some of whom you haven't seen in five years, some of whom you've never seen before, but all of you somehow together 
for making this happen.